it's Clara and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my favourites from the month of May. I've got a few different items that I've been enjoying recently so yeah I'm just going to share them with you. First up I've got these orange chocolate chip fruit bars, they're from Pulsin. They are obviously vegan, they are gluten free. I eat one or two of these a day, I'm seriously addicted. They're so good and they're so good for you. I kind of got a Terry's chocolate orange vibe obviously with the orange and chocolate. I always carry snacks around with me just because I I get very hungry and it's always good for me to have something that I can easily eat. Um, I throw these just in my bag and then I know that I've got them. If you're looking to work towards a more healthy lifestyle, um, try replacing your daily chocolate bar, if you eat a chocolate bar daily, with one of these. They're full of fibre and they taste really, really good. So yeah, I've been loving these. Next up I've got a book favourite and this is The Little Book of Positivity. I actually got given this as a Christmas present um, but I've only just started really using it. I went through an unexpectedly difficult time in April, I was really down and my mindset was incredibly negative. Like most people I don't enjoy being negative and being down, it's not great for you and it's not great for the people that are around you. This book really helped me, it's full of inspirational quotes, a tiny just small little tips of how you can kind of improve your mindset, how you can improve your overall health and your day and I would just read a quote um, at night time. I know it might sound insignificant but when you're feeling really down you'll try anything and this really gave me a pep in my step. I mean I absolutely love a good inspirational quote and there are some real winners in here. Some of my favourites are whether you think you can or you think you can't you're right Henry Ford. That's so true. This quote really moved me I'm not sure why but it's stuck in my head. Tell me what it is that you plan to do with your one wild and precious life, Mary Oliver. Sometimes when you're down, it's so hard to remember how beautiful and precious life is. And anyway, without getting too heavy, this book really helped. If you're going through a hard time, I feel you and you're not alone. And this book might help you or it might help somebody that you know who's going through a hard time. So yeah. So next up I've got a beauty favourite. This is Alima Pure's foundation and it, oh I feel like an old school YouTuber, it's just a pressed powder foundation. I was previously using a foundation from Bare Minerals, not hating on Bare Minerals at all, I love that foundation. Um, I believe that they are a cruelty free brand but I don't think that they're vegan, at least I don't think that foundation was vegan and um, I wasn't crazy about the packaging. So I was looking to get something that fit same with my lifestyle a little bit better. To Content Beauty, which is a green beauty shop here in London, and they recommended this to me. One of the coolest things about this, which I absolutely love, is that once you're done with the powder in there, you can pop that out and you can reuse this compact. You don't have to buy a new one, um, which is so good because you're reducing your waste, and yeah, it makes me feel so good. There are no bad ingredients in here, as well as only buying beauty products that are vegan and cruelty free, I also try and only purchase chemical free products for health reasons. The colour that I wear is June, the foundation is great, it's buildable so you can go for a very natural look or add on a bit more if you want, so quick and easy to use. I love powder foundation because I think it's just so quick to put on and you can touch it up throughout the day as well. I'm so so happy with this. Sometimes I have to say that green beauty can be a bit hit and miss just because there's been less money and research put into those cosmetics but I love this and I will continue to use it. I'm assuming that I will get a little bit tanned in the up and coming months so I might need to get the darker shade but that's all good. So yes I highly recommend this if you like to dabble in green beauty as I do. Next up I have a podcast, so I absolutely love podcasts, I find that they're great for just putting on when you're cooking or when you're walking, if you don't want to listen to music, so I get through quite a lot. So I was recommended WTF with Mark Maron, he is an actor, I believe that he is in the TV show called Glow. He interviews actors and other people on his podcast, including Barack Obama. He is absolutely hilarious. He is incredibly blunt and harsh, but I love his sense of humour. They're not your typical celebrity interviews at all. Um, he really digs in deep and you find out such interesting things about the people that he's interviewing. Um, I am a complete film geek, so of course I love hearing the interviews with the actors and the filmmakers. It's really real and I really appreciate people that are authentic and you feel his authenticity through his podcast. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of catching up to 
do with them. There are some amazing sounding episodes which I can't wait to listen to. If you're into podcasts, I really recommend that you try listening to WTF with Mark Maron. My final favourite is a fashion favourite. I have been absolutely loving this coat recently. I've always wanted a really decent spring coat but I've never really found anything that I like. I got it in Amsterdam when I went with my mum recently and we definitely did a lot of shopping. I absolutely love Amsterdam in general and I really really love the style. There's a really cool kind of minimalist vibe uh, in their fashion which I really like. The fabric is really soft, you can wear things underneath it, I think it's very elegant and stylish, you can dress it up, dress it down. It's versatile. Grey is one of my favourite colours. I think it's so stylish and minimalist and yeah, that's the kind of vibe that I'm trying to go for with my fashion. I was really close to not buying this coat. I was just a bit unsure about it and I was also unsure about whether I could get it back on the plane, but I'm so glad that I bought it. Um, yeah, I've been wearing it nearly every day and I'm so happy with it. So those are some of the things I've been loving recently. I hope that they gave you some inspiration. Tell me in the comments below if you've tried any of the products that I've mentioned. I would love to hear. Please subscribe to my channel, it would make my day. I will see you on the next one. Bye!